What's up, guys? My boss here, and as you guys see, we got ourselves a new limited time honey badger right now in packs. We also got ourselves a new house rules that came out. And I'm going to show you guys how you can get one of the Super Bowl present masters for 300,000 coins or lower with the new house rules. Now, if you played all your solos, and, or if you played your solos and maybe some of the older house rules that you can get Super Bowl tickets, you, that's going to be used as well. But before we get into any of that, we're going to go look at the honey badger right now and see what he's looking like. The only thing I don't like about the high matches is a 5 9 stage, but the man plays like he's six foot five, and the man can just knock your ass into next week. So right now, let's head ourselves over to the strong safeties and check them out. So, um, where are you at? Here you are. He's going for about 650k. He's got 92 speed, 94 excel, 82 tackle, 94 play rec with 93 man, 91 zone, 90 hit power with 92 pursuit. Could compare him to Pat Tillman, and that's pretty much what he is. He is a short. Pat Tillman. He's a little bit shorter. You guys know how Pat Tillman plays, though, especially though with him getting an upgrade. Probably next week with Series 5 coming out, which, by the way, Series 5 notes. It's going to be on the forum later on tonight, so keep your eyes peeled on Twitter for that. Anyways, as you guys see, though, this is pretty much what we're looking like. And in my opinion, he's not he's not that bad. The only thing I hate, though, is that obviously he's eliminating, but he just came out. Maybe he'll get the redux later. But anyways... He's 5'9", compared to 5'11", so for my team, no thank you. My shortest amount would be 5'11", five, uh, even though Tyreek Hill's 5'10", but when it comes to my secondary, that would be the shortest I'll take just because he's the Mutt Master. I like to have a tall secondary. That's my basic opinion. But anyways, I'm going to show you guys right now the new house rules that came out today. We got ourselves, where is it? What's it called? What's it called? Let's see. Come on, load up faster. Let's go. There we go. Played out. So, with played out, it looks like the other house rules is now gone. So, this is the one I'm going to be rocking with. So, if you guys can get your tickets from then, got to play your solos. As I see, played out. Offensive and defensive plays go on cooldown for five plays after each use and can only be used twice. So, what this is, it's a full regular game. And what you're doing is certain plays you can run maybe, you have to run two times. But they cool down. Like, say if you run halfback stretch, you... Can only as you run that play, you have to wait five plays to run it again. Or say if you're in defense and you run pinch bucko, you have to wait five plays to run it again. But you can only run each play in your playbook twice. So it makes you think two things: when to use the plays you like, and how many times you can use it. Because say if one of your favorite plays is a post route that your receiver is always open, if you use that too early, say if it's later in the game and you need that play, you can't use it the rest of the game. So in my opinion, do I like that? Not really, but it really makes you think. It really makes you strategize when you should use your plays. Anyways, what do you get for this? What's the point of this? So what you get is for the first 15 wins, every five wins, you will get a Super Bowl ticket. So it's three tickets. Keep that in mind. Each game you win is 600 coins. Every game you lose is 200. You get the point of that. But at 25 wins, you will get a Nat 96 overall Super Bowl present hero. And then if you want to continue to get up to 40 wins, you will get an extra 90,000 coins and about 450 uh, trophies. But how does that help you get? How does that help you get the new card? How does that help you get one of the masters? Well, here's how. If we head over to the solos first, let's say you complete that, you get your 25 wins before you even open the pack, right? Because I do believe it's random. I don't know yet. Obviously, though, when we get the card, I will let you guys know. So anyways... Let's head over to the Super Bowl solos, right? As you guys see, let's say if you guys never did your solos, the first three tiers are Super Bowl tickets. So if you want to get that done quick, by the way, if you want to get some uh, easy ones, just play through the path to the Super Bowl for the Chiefs and the Niners. Just play those that schedule out. It's 18 solos, and it's about 72 stars each. So trust me, just grind it out, and you will like the results because that's what helped me honestly get through most of my tickets. Anyways... Let's say you do that, right? You get the first three. So that's three Super Bowl tickets now from that and three tickets from the solos. You have six tickets. What I would do is open that pack first because the reason why is when you open that pack, and I'll show you which pack. The pack I'm talking about is from the uh, from house rules, is that, like I said, it can be random. So let's say in my instance, which, well, this is what I want. I want it to be a 49er that's not DeForest Buckner. In my situation, I would need to be Kyle Juszczyk or Raheem Mozart because I already had the Forrest Buckner. How did I get him? Now, the way this works, though, is let's see. How did I get him? 
put home into the tickets, I put them in here. You take your six tickets and you put them in here. The reason why I said make sure you open the house rule pack before you open up this one, put your tickets away, because so this way you know which one you're going to complete. Because, as you see right here, exchange six Super Bowl tickets to earn your choice of any six 96 overall Super Bowl present heroes. Now, what does that mean? Well, if we head over to the sets, you can choose out of the three for Tyreek Hill, which is Mitchell Schwartz, Chris Jones, or Sammy Watkins. Or you can choose from here, from Sherman, which was the Forrest Buffner, Kyle Juszczyk, and Raheem Motes. Now, if you choose, whatever one you choose, that can help you out. So, let's say, for example, for my case, right? Let's say I didn't, let's say I didn't pick anybody, okay? And I pull I pull Kyle Juszczyk, right? That's what I pull from my... um from my house rules. I would choose the, I would go then to the set and see which one's cheaper, right? Raheem Mozart right now is 313. Someone's trying to get a snipe on him. If I had enough, I'd do it. But anyway, and let's say DeForest Buckner, right? We already have Kyle Yusef from, um, from house rules. He's 310. What I would do is I would choose the one that's more expensive, which would be Buckner, and I would just buy this one. That, because that's what you would do. Whatever one you pull, um, what is it? Yeah, whatever one you pull, you can put into the set, and then you choose whoever's the most expensive. So let's say in this situation, right? We open the pack up, and we'll get Mitchell Schwartz, right? So we already have him. We put him in the set, okay? Let's go to now Sammy Watkins or Chris Jones, right? Let's take a look at him. Chris Jones is going for 320. Okay. Let's head over now to Sammy Watkins. Keep in mind, though, both the cards that you're putting in the set are not, and Watkins is going for 315. Okay then, so now if we put what the one that we would choose would be Chris Jones. We would choose him and then go buy Sammy Watkins. That's the thing. To do this very cheap, you need at least 300,000 coins because that's the whole point of it. You can complete the set for just about 300K now because you have the ability now to get two free ones when it comes to the present. It's just you gotta be your choice if you want Tyree Kill or Richard Sherman. It depends what you're doing. And the best part about it, though, is it doesn't matter which one you do, you're making coins. Because let's go over to the Masters right now and see how much they're going for. Also, you when you complete the set, you will get the power-up for the Master. So it's Tyree Kill or Richard Sherman. And you get back all three pieces of them that you put into the set. You get them back as a gnat. So that helps you out there with training as well. So now we head over to the Masters. All the cards are going for between 300 to 320k. Let's go to Sherman. He's 463. So, like I said, let's say you spend about 300,000 coins on the set, right? But you already put your two free ones that we mentioned before. So the 463, 250 minus three. Let's go with 315. Because that's how much um, Buckner was going for. One. You made 148, right? If you decide to sell Sherman. Let's go to Tyree Kill now. Let's say. First of all, that's a little bit of a snipe there, so I'm going to go with the second one. Oh, no. I'm stupid. I read the wrong one. Anyway, let's go to Tyreek Hill. Again, same price, 315 He's going for about 599,100 coins. Minus 315 How much are you making? You're making 284 So it doesn't matter which one you do. You're making back coins. So if you spend the 300 k and think, like, oh, I'm going to have like 66,000 coins. You're making coins doing this no matter what. So once again, though, before I let you guys go, a quick recap. When it comes to house rules, you will get a free uh, NFL Super Bowl present player. You get one of the heroes. You, whatever hero you get, that's the one you will go with to complete. Then you will go to the solos, get three more tickets because you get three tickets for getting 15 wins. It's 25 wins to get it. Remember that. You get a Super Bowl present card, that's a gnat, and you get three tickets. So you're already halfway there. All you gotta do is grind out a little bit more solos, and you will get the other three. Once you do that, you will go to the set. Or you can just use both cards, you can do what you want. But I'm just saying this is how you can make coins with it. Because what you can do with them, you would put the tickets in here, in this set here, like I said, and it depends on which one you pull. Whatever one you pull, you go here, you see, how much, whatever card you get though, if it's one card from the Niners, one card from the Chiefs, you, you would go to that respected set, see who's going for the most, choose the one that's more expensive, and then you would buy the cheaper one, 
you will get the card back, you get the power up, and the all three of them. If you want to use the master, you use the master. If you want to sell the master, you sell the master. It's just what you can do with it. But that's all up to you on a, and on how your team is. But anyways, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you guys did enjoy the video and find it informative. If you guys did, please leave a like. Subscribe if you are new. Follow me on Twitter. My link will be in the description below. Turn on the bell so you guys post, know whenever I post a new video. The support has been incredible, which I do thank you guys. And I hope you guys all have a great weekend and a great Super Bowl Sunday. So, I'm out, guys.